Made it to Milano nice and safe. We had fun yesterday at uh, Domo. We ate Gelato. Went, went and visited a church. Which way are we going, hon? Gelato's She's here. navigating. We need to go. Crossing well, right? Cross all the way. Okay. Yeah. Cross all the way and then go up the right. We are heading to Lake okay. Como today. So now we're going to go to Como. We're going to check out all these lake towns, ride the ferry. It's actually not too chilly of a day. Hopefully the <laughs> lake doesn't make it colder. Because we're like uh, 11 degrees right now. So it was at 51 ish. And uh, yeah, so more exploring of Italy today. We're excited to see it. How have you liked Italy so far? I like how it's warm. You like that it's warm? Well, that's just kind of a. Yep. I like it here. I love all the buildings. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for, so Milan, my, just my real quick take on it, and from what, what I've read, is you kind of hit Domo in that downtown area. And outside of that, there's not a whole lot here. So we're actually only here for a few days, but we'll do everything we can while we're here. We have 20 minutes or so, actually 30 minutes until our train leaves. We got here a little bit early uh, with not a lot to do, but we didn't actually know what time the train left. So, you know, here we are, but it's okay. What are you saying? Right. <laughs> He's not whispering anything. Anyway. So we'll wait here and uh, this was good though because it helped us know how to get from the metro to the train station because when we leave here in a few days we're going to uh, uh, take a train to Venice. So yeah, helpful, informative, got our platform and uh, we should be on the train here in the next 30 minutes. One of the ways we save money on travel is we always pack some snacks so on the train cheese. got some cheese, and some steak. salami, oranges just you know a couple snacks to tie the kids over and stuff and, and we don't get places with hungry kids because they're hungry yeah i mean it's a huge hack that if you keep your kids fed you'll keep your kids from having absolute meltdowns they're so much happier when they travel when they're well fed and it's usually the kids are having meltdowns usually because they're hungry they're calorie deficient but we're on the train on the way when we get there we'll probably grab a pair of probably grab some lunch, which will amount to like some bread, some meat, and some cheeses. Maybe pizza. You want to do pizza? I might do pizza. But anyway, we just keep it really simple and it makes the travel nice and quick and uh, keeps your mouth bounce. Popped off the train here. The stop we're at is that one. I'll try to pronounce it. Verena Esino. Verena Esino. And uh, right behind us is a very old city. Looks cool. And on the other side is a lake. So, deciding if we're going to wander around town here for a minute or if we want to catch a ferry. Our plan is the ferry does kind of this triangle to hit like these three cool towns. Is that right? And so we're so going to crosses the lake and then goes up the lake a little more and then comes back to the same stop. So we can take the train here back to Milan. 
So it's time to uh, go do some exploration. Maybe get some pizza. Are we gonna eat pizza here? Is there pizza something better function. to eat? Pizza. And it's actually, it is quite warm. I mean, we went from 16 degree Fahrenheit to 52. So nice change. very, very warm. <laughs> jumped on the ferry here at, what's the town called? That we're, we're in, Mendo? In, no, we're in Verena. We're headed Verena? to Bellagio. And we're headed to Bellagio. Not Las Vegas, but the actual Bellagio. You guys think they'll have a dancing fountain there? They have a whole lake. I don't know if they need a fountain. Lake is amazing. Oh, I mean, the backdrop's incredible. It's fun to have been in Milan last night and then to contrast it today with, uh, with this. The kids are getting hungry though, so we Definitely need to go find time. some uh, gelato or yeah. some paisa. Heading up to find some food. I think we're gonna have some pizza. We are in the town of Bellagio. We're actually going uphill and the views are getting better and better as we go. But it is definitely time to eat. So we got off the ferry in Bellagio. We are rocking to find some lunch and walked up a hill. The views have been great so far. What do you guys think? Everyone having fun? Yep. So, we better not check in with them again until we feed them. Okay, it's time for our first pizza in Italy. What do you think, Ren? I haven't eaten. I haven't had pizza in so long, and I forgot how to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Here they use a fork and a knife, and Roxy got a kebab plate, so, you know. It's Roxy. Ren, how's it? I haven't tried a bite. Oh, what are you chewing on? It looks amazing. Okay, oh. I'm just to eat it with a fork and a knife. Mm -hmm. Am I doing that wrong? <laughs> I can do whatever you want. You're an American. You oh, do whatever you want. Pure good. world. Mm. Just got done with lunch. We're taking a walk to check out this view. It's okay, I guess. It's okay, I guess. Oh, I love the terraces. Across there is the town we came into, Verena. We hiked up the hill a little ways so we could get a good view. Had a great lunch at this La Bellagina. Excellent pizza, amazing views. Just really loving our day here. Our next stop is right here, the town of Menaggio. And we are going to find us some gelato here. Gelato is so weird. Gelato is delicious. It's good, but I don't know how to Views are okay, I guess. Oh, this the views are amazing. Oh, and there's that view. Well, we got into town, got off the uh, ferry, and unfortunately, almost everything is closed, which actually makes for really, really fun pictures because it's legitimately empty, but does not make for great eating. But look at, that's Bellagio over there, lights hitting. And uh, still an absolutely beautiful night nonetheless. But we're gonna try to find some gelato. We're just skipping some stones across the crystal clear water here at Como. The sun is starting to go down and we're about to catch a uh, ferry that's gonna take us all the way 
to the town of Como, which is actually closer to uh, Milano. And we'll catch the bus home from there. But we've had a great day. We've, we visited, just to give you an idea, right there. That's Bellagio. And what was the name of the first town, hon? I can't ever remember. We came into Verena, which is over there. Went to Bellagio, came to Menaggio, and uh, now it's unfortunately time to go back because I think we could have spent a lot more time here. But everything being closed makes you feel a little better about it. We yeah. Off season. Kind of bummer stuff closed, but it does make for great pictures because there's just nobody around. So you actually have like empty streets. But I think this would be a place we'd love to come back to. Maybe spend a few nights in the summer. A weekend. We are back on a ferry, last for the night. Uh, we were planning on taking it all the way to Como, but we uh, misread our schedule a little bit, so we decided we'll go back to Verena and take the train, so we know where the train station is and everything and get home to Milan. So we have inside staying warm. It's beautiful seeing all the lights around the lake. And back to Milan we go. So we made it to the train station. We had to run from the ferry because we only had what, 12 minutes? 15 I think. 15? And we wandered there earlier so we didn't know exactly how long it would take. Anyway, we ran the whole way here. We barely got our ticket printed as the train's pulling in. How did you feel about running? Um. Roxy. You get like the part where you can't breathe and it's all like yeah. horrible in your throat. Some slobber now. Good stories. Good stories.